This is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321 and in today's video I'm going to do a water resistance test of seven yep seven of my blue fountain pen inks. Now this isn't all the blue fountain pen inks that I own but these are the ones that you most reasonably would be using in a work situation or in a situation where you would want a water resistant fountain pen ink. So I am going to start with, I'm going to do a writing sample for each one, let it dry for a few minutes, uh, pause the video while it dries, and then I'm going to dunk it in a pan of water that I have over here, see initially what happens, and then pause the video and let it uh, soak in the water for a little bit, and then take it out and see how each ink performed in water. I'm going to start with Dimine Oxford Blue and I'm using my uh, Pilot Custom 74. And this is This is a nice pen and ink pair. Okay. Next, I've got Diatramentus Sherlock Holmes, and I'm using my Platinum 3776. All of these are fine nib. Mm, I think I've got one's an extra fine, but it's a Caveco, so they're all pretty much very similar. Um, Those two inks are very similar, and the rest are ink samples that I've got. Sailor Manyo Kikyu, and that's in my Sailor Pro Gear Slim. first three are very similar, not exactly the same. And let's see, better scoop these back. Next in my Pilot Prera, I've got Organic Studio Santiago Sea Blue. And I have had trouble with this one hard starting. People have mentioned these super sheening inks. That's sometimes an issue you have to deal with. So, yep. Now these, these pens have all been dip tested, so I don't have a converter in there. Let me give it another quick dip. This isn't a difficult ink to clean out of my pen. I have a feeling that when it's exposed to air, it dries pretty quickly. And I've noticed that once I get it started writing, it's fine. It just dries up in between uses. But I haven't tested it, having it inked up in a converter yet, so I still have to test that. But. Well... Maybe we'll test this, maybe not.
We'll give it one more try. And there we go. It's kind of disappointing that this ink has issues. I, I won't do a final judgment on it yet. I, to be fair to it, I do need to test it with it inked up in a converter. But I really, I'm, I'm not a big fan of really sheening inks, but I do like this one. All right, now we're getting into the Noodlers. This is Noodlers, uh, 54th, Massachusetts. And these next two Noodlers inks, I've been surprised by how much they spread. They don't feather, they just spread at least on the papers that I've tried. Next, I've had trouble with this one hard starting as well. I've got Noodler's Kung De Chang in my Caveco Sport. So fingers crossed that this one works. A little bit of a hard start. Those two really spread on the paper. And finally, Bay State Blue. I've been impressed with the performance of this one. It doesn't spread like the first two. No hard starts. Oops. And nice and bright, but still, I would think, would be usable in a, a work situation. And I used my black 78G, but I should have switched nibs. My blue 78G, it really matches it nicely. All right, I am going to... Pause for just a minute and make sure all of these are good and dry and then I'll come back and um, dunk them down in the water. Okay, I've given it a few minutes to dry. Now, I forgot to check this on the black ink sample. Um, Let's see, as far as bleed through goes, the noodlers were the only ones that tried to bleed through a little bit. Surprisingly, Bay State Blue was the one that bled through the most, even though 54th Massachusetts and Kung De Ching were the ones that spread the most. Okay, let's Put it in the water and see what happens. Ooh, the organic studio was pretty, but it is just coming up off the paper. The noodlers seem to be hanging pretty tight. Uh, the top four have some color letting go. Oh, the organic studio. Looks like all of it's coming loose.
we'll give that a little bit of time to soak, just a few minutes. I know this is a little bit extreme, but I wanted to see what these can handle under extreme circumstances. Okay, I will pause the video for just a few minutes and see what happens. Okay, it looks like all the color has let go that plans to let go. I'm going to set a paper napkin over here. And it looks like, let's get a little closer and see. It looks like Oxford Blue is still readable, like you might be able, uh, you, I don't know, you might be able to salvage some of your notes if you're, if you had some notes that totally got drenched. Using it to address an envelope, though, I, it doesn't look like it would be suitable for that. Sherlock Holmes hung on fairly well. I would say, and the Sailor Mano Kick You, I would say you could use these two for addressing envelopes. They would survive. The Organic Studio just melted right off the page. And the Three Noodlers hung on there perfectly. You know, these would be the best for addressing envelopes. And... I didn't let these dry very long at all. It was just two or three minutes. So, and here, just a review, here were the results from the black inks. Again, the Sailor ink did okay. You could read it after it got wet. Uh, a decent amount of the cover color came up. Aurora black, some of the color came up. This was a diamine ink, diamine Onyx Black, it just completely melted away, but Noodler's Black and Noodler's X Feather hung in there perfectly, and the Noodler's Inks again hung in there perfectly. Alright, I still have uh, my regular writing samples to do with some of these, so I'm excited to see how they perform in other pins and nibs so there's how my blues stood up to water if you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel